day one of Fashion Week and we're talking to Sophie who's just uh, done the hair for the Ginger and Smart Show. Tell us a little bit about the hair. Um, well, basically we were inspired by the concept of future beauty. So um, kind of breaking that down a little bit, juxtaposing a couple of different textures. Um, the, the clothes were, the collection was inspired by the idea of transcendence. So what that meant to me was kind of having hair that felt that had like a lightness and a transparency to it. So that was where we incorporated um, a very soft, billowy texture through the back. Hi, here we are backstage after the Camilla show. Wow, Lance, that was spectacular. The main thing with this year, of course, was adding some crimping to add a, a really fun texture. You can see there's smooth bits, softer bits, crimped bits, tattered bits, sexy bits. The whole thing about that is adding texture, which uh, uh, was sort of uh, opposing each other, which was the most important thing. And it was really aerated going down the catwalk. It was really, yeah. It was I didn't see it. I was back here, so I'm really glad. Like I said, the most important thing for me with this particular look was that it breathed down the runway. Okay, again behind uh, backstage at the Camilla show, and we're here with Napoleon Purtis, who directed makeup for this gorgeous show. Napoleon, that was amazing. Tell us about the four different looks that you did. Oh my God, that was so fantastic to work on. Such a creative show. Camilla was all about escape, Babylon, fantasy, and we had four different looks. You know, but the focus was on the eyes. We had like this Pandora, which you see here, and it was just rich and luxurious, kind of like you know, a play like a future. We had this tribal influence. We had Atlantis, which was a blue mood. We had the pastel prints with a pink. Hi, here we are backstage with fabulous session stylist Alan White, who is directing hair for GHD for the Lucette show. Hi, Alan. This looks hey. fantastic. How, How are you doing? doing? Yeah, good. Having fun, actually. It's pretty chilled this morning. We're doing cyber billies. Oh. We're doing cyber billies. Wet textures. Yes. That's what we're all about right this season. For, us. for what I'm doing for the shows this season, it's all wet texture. Um, I really like that. I think we've done you know, a fair bit of dry in, over the last few seasons and now I want the girls just to have a little bit more shine, uh, a little bit more futuristic, I, w I, I would say. Um, yeah, I w With Lisette, I wanted to keep it a little chic, so what I wanted to do was give them something that was fashion forward, um, but at the same time um, you know, approachable and um, you know, something that would suit their, their, their clients. We're also here with Nicole Thompson, who is um, directing makeup for Mac today, for also for the Lisette show. So tell us a little bit about the look that you're doing to go with this gorgeous hair that Alan's created. Oh, the hair is amazing. It's really inspired everything, actually. But what, when we met with the designers, they were really talking about being cyber warriors. So they were really strong, great strength about the girls. They have a view. They're independent, but they're still soft at the same time. So it definitely comes through in the hair and the makeup. So what we've done is we've really focused on the eyes, and we've given this great structure to the eyes, a really nice, nice strength to the face. So what we've done is we've gone in some really, some really, if you just close your eyes, babe, thanks. We've gone in with a really nice slaty sort of colour gone over with a nice warm shimmer. Hi, here we are backstage with Grant Norton from TG, who's directing the hair for uh, Zambezi. Hi Grant, how's it going? Very good, thanks Jenny. How are you going? Great. What are we looking at in the hair today? Well, what we're working with, Jen, is um, quite a dry texture to the hair. What we're doing is working with uh, the new catwalk range. We've put in through mid length through ends, we've put in like a thickening cream. Uh, that creates separation as well. So we've weighed the mid length down. Through the internal part of the hair, what we've done is we've worked with the root boost, which is like a, like quite a dry sort of textured spray. And then what we're doing is we're working with uh, Zambezi, and they've come up with uh, these little skull caps for us, which is something that we sort of developed an idea through working with, uh, talking about, you know, like horse riding. Uh -huh. And uh, what we really wanted to do is create something that was quite different and unique. Thank you. 